hypersonic missile-equipped fighter jets are to patrol the Black Sea continuously, according to an order from Russian President Vladimir Putin. He claimed that rather than being a threat, the patrols serve as a way to maintain visual control over the Mediterranean Sea. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Russia hypersonic fighter jet going to destroy Israel. In the midst of the conflict in Ukraine and the escalating crisis between Israel and Hamas in the Middle East, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that he has ordered fighter jets equipped with hypersonic missiles to start patrolling the Black Sea around the clock. This move is likely to escalate tensions with the United States. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Putin also threatened to oppose any strikes and chastise the US for arming Ukraine with long-range missiles. Putin patrols the Black Sea with aircraft equipped with hypersonic weaponry. Putin claimed that the US had committed a mistake by providing Ukraine the attack comes to support Kyiv's counteroffensive, which sought to retake land that Russia had invaded. Following his talks with Chinese President Resident Xi Jinping on Wednesday, Putin informed reporters in Beijing that he had given the go-ahead for MiG-31 aircraft equipped with Kinjal missiles, which have a range of more than 1,000 kilometers at a speed of Mach 9, to conduct ongoing missions over Black Sea neutral waters. We will use weaponry to exercise visual control over the events taking place in the Mediterranean Sea. But rest assured that this is not a threat, stated Putin. In reaction to the Israel-Hamas battle, the US has sent two aviation groups into the Mediterranean and the recent shipment of Adaxum's long-range missiles to Ukraine indicated Washington was becoming more actively involved in the fighting there. He claimed, the head of the Kremlin stated, all this is heating up the environment in light of the Middle East crisis. Putin claimed that during their discussions, ENGI went into great depth about the problems in the Middle East and Ukraine. He also mentioned that Russia and China face shared threats that serve to fortify their bilateral ties. However, China hasn't given Moscow any weaponry that would run the risk of drawing punishment from the US, even though it has supported Russia diplomatically and economically, since Putin gave the order to invade Ukraine in 2022, lessening the impact of international sanctions. Last month, US President Joe Biden consented to provide Ukraine with a restricted quantity of Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACOMS. Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, declared on Tuesday that ATACOMS had proven themselves following his forces' attacks on Russian airfields in occupied Luhansk, east of the country, and Berdyansk, on the Sea of Azov, Putin claimed that the U.S. had committed a mistake by providing Ukraine the Atacoms to support Kyiv's counteroffensive, which sought to retake land that Russia had invaded. According to him, Russia will definitely be able to repel any attacks, and the missiles only prolong the misery for Ukraine. Putin stated that there should be an immediate end to the confrontation between Israel and Hamas following the explosion that occurred late on Tuesday at a hospital in Gaza killing hundreds of people. After speaking over the phone on Monday with the leaders of Israel, Egypt, Syria, Iran, and the Palestinian Authority, he stated that it was evident that no one wanted the crisis to escalate into a regional war. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, two Russian fighter jets were scrambled on Thursday to stop three British airplanes from crossing into Russian airspace over the Black Sea. Russia asserts that it was able to identify three air targets which it says were a British War C-135 observation aircraft and two Typhoon fighter planes, and that it then dispatched Su-27 fighter jets to the area close to the border in order to intercept them. According to the statement, when Russian fighters got closer to the state border of the Russian Federation, foreign military aircraft flew in the opposite direction. There was a lack of clarity regarding how close the planes were to one another. The Black Sea has become an increasingly significant theater of operations as the conflict between Russia and Ukraine enters its 20th month. According to Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, Russian jets that are armed with hypersonic Kinjal missiles were given the order to conduct patrols over the Black Sea on Wednesday. In the past, Russia has documented multiple instances in which its fighter aircraft were ordered to intercept military aircraft from Norway, a fellow NATO member, while they were flying over the Barents Sea. These incidents took place over the course of several years. In September of the previous year, a Russian pilot mistakenly believed he had permission to fire two missiles towards a surveillance plane 
flown by the Royal Air Force. The Russian government's claim that it was due to a technical breakdown was openly acknowledged by the United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense. After being fired, the first missile failed to hit the ROF plane, while the second missile failed to get off the ground altogether. It was possible that a NATO member would have been drawn into a conflict with Russia if it had been successful in reaching its intended target. On September 29, 2022, while the RAF aircraft was engaged in a surveillance operation over the Black Sea in international airspace, it had come into contact with two Russian Su-27 fighter fighters. The RAF aircraft had been carrying a crew of up to 30 people at the time of the encounter. Can Israel defend against hypersonic weapons? Israel is renowned for its multi-layered air defense system, of which the aero system is the uppermost layer, albeit in the absence of more advanced capabilities such as the Sky Sonnet. Aero 3 and Aero 4 can only be used to intercept hypersonic missiles up to a specific speed, according to Yadlin. It is unlikely that Iran would have operational missiles faster than this. Thus, Israel will need to respond differently, mostly through preemptive strikes. There is hope that Kaliski's present systems could function. He pointed out that this kind of hypersonic missile must enter the atmosphere, which causes it to slow down owing to friction and provides air defenses with a thermal signature so it may be spotted and stopped. Rubin also conveyed confidence that the FATA could be repelled, citing the Patriots downing of Russia's hypersonic Kinjal missile and the Germans' recent acquisition of the aero system as evidence. He stated, I believe we have a countermeasure against hypersonic missiles. If not, the Germans would not have accepted it. According to Inbar, this new kind poses a threat to any current missile defense system, be it new type of interceptors from other countries or aero or the had. It's difficult. It will require some time to comprehend the new threat's potential. That's all for today's video. The good news from Inbar is that, unlike how it has given Russia Sahad 136 drones, he does not envision Iran being able to proliferate this missile. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.